all right with version 1.2 coming very very soon of course we need to start talking about the relics and the play-doh ornaments that are going to be coming with this update this is very exciting this is going to be helping out a lot of different characters and of course this is also going to introduce the signature set for blade which if you are going to be summoning for blade you're going to be stuck in this domain for a very long time but we're going to be looking over every single one of these different relics and play-doh ornaments we're also going to be looking at which characters are going to fit these and which ones are actually going to benefit from this now i do want to say as a note if you already have characters that i'm going to be listing with these relics which with really good substat pieces, with really good set pieces, you might want to just leave them as is. I've seen a lot of people, especially in my stream, where they talk about how they're going to have to ditch some of their builds to get the better versions of them through these relics. I don't think that's really that worth it right now at this point in the game, just because there's so many things in this game that require energy. There's so many things that require you to spend a large amount of resources to level them up and wasting the relics that you already had that could be good on one character doesn't really make sense to go ahead and build them out with another set of relics if you're not going to get a crazy 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 amount of extra benefit from those relic sets so i do want to say you should probably stay with what you got if you have something really good but if you're trying to build a new character out and they're going to be using one of these sets then of course this will probably be the best way to do it but let's go ahead and start talking about the brand new relics now for the first relic set is going to be blade signature set now it's going to be two piece set. It's going to give you max hp and it's going to be increased the four piece set is going to be when the wearer is hit or has the hp reduced by an ally their crit rate increases for a set number of turns and this effect is stackable so this is really good especially for blade because he does off of his skill lose hp which is going to help a lot and if he gets hit he's going to get that follow-up attack as well and he's going to end up getting some crit rate which is going to be absolutely amazing not only because that's powerful as is but you're going to have an easier time building your character since you are going to be getting crit rate from this four piece set now when it comes to characters currently in Honkai Star World that are not Blade, which characters can actually use the 4-piece set and the 2-piece set? Now for the 2-piece set, it's most likely going to be just the healers. There aren't many other characters that scale off of HP. I'm pretty sure down the line, we'll end up getting more characters that use HP scaling for damage, but for right now, that is a very limited cast. Natasha and Bailu are going to be the healers that use HP. You get their healing up, and for the most part, you can only run 2-piece, two 2-piece two if you're going to be doing this. You can run the HP percentage for the healer set, and then you can also run the HP percentage from the new set. That's a possibility, but for the most part, you should just probably use the 4-piece set from the healer set. The only other character that could use this is Arlen. Now, Arlen doesn't necessarily scale off of HP, but he does lower his own HP off of his skill. And with that being said, he will be able to proc the crit rate buff on the relic set. So that's the only other character really I'll be able to benefit from this from the full four piece set. Everyone else uses other type of scalings like attack or defense. So it's not gonna help a lot. They're not gonna get a lot of benefit from this brand new relic set, except the healer is getting that HP percentage. But for right now, it seems like this set is specifically meant literally just for blade and that's it. You can use it on Arlen, but for the most part, Blade is going to be the only one benefiting from this by 100%. Now, the next relic set is going to be a more of a support set, and this is going to be a pretty strong one just because of the two piece set and also the four piece set. Now, the two piece set for this is going to be speed gets increased, which is already very strong. This could be easily put on multiple of your supports to make it so that they get more skill points, to make it so that they get more turns. It's just overall going to be a very strong relic set, especially for just this two piece set that you could probably put with other sets. Now the 4 piece set is going to be a little bit of a bummer just because it is going to be quite limited. When the wearer uses their ultimate on an ally, speed for all allies increases for a set number of turns. Now with that being said, of it having to target allies, you, there aren't going to be that much when it comes to the relic holders that can use the full 4 piece set. For the 4 piece set is most likely going to be just Bronya, is going to be potentially Clara because she can do it on herself, but you're not going to really run a speed set on Clara. Team Yoon is also a candidate as well because it's a solo buffer on her ult. Asta does a team-wide speed buff, so this is really great as well. Natasha has that option as well because it's a full team-wide ultimate. Same with Bailu, so they both can benefit from that. Everyone else, as of right now, doesn't have any type of buff or any type of ultimate that hits the allies. So there's going to be just the ones I mentioned before. Now, the people that can use this 4-piece set, it is going to benefit them greatly just because they are going to be giving speed to every ally and giving it to characters like Sela, giving it to characters like Jing Yuan. All these characters that benefit from speed, especially from Jing Yuan, where he wants Lightning Lord stacks if he hits a certain amount of speed. Same with Sela, she's able to scale off of speed through her Light Cone. There's just a lot of different added benefits for a support to be running this. Now, the thing is you cannot run this on multiple characters because it clearly says at the end, this effect cannot be stacked. Because if you had this on every single character that could buff, it would be absolutely insane. You'll be able to lap enemies like crazy, get infinite skill points. So I see why they wouldn't want this. 
So for support characters, this is by far going to be one of the best sets just because you are going to get more basic attacks, you are going to get more skills, you are going to be able to get more when it comes to the added benefit of what those characters can bring if they have a bunch of speed and also can buff the speed of other allies. Characters like Asta are going to be absolutely crazy because you're going to be blitzing through your Q, I guess you could say, of you versus the enemy just because you have this speed set and with her helping you with advanced forging from maybe a light cone, from speed bonus doesn't come from her ultimate. There's just a lot when it comes to what this relic set can do but let's go ahead and start talking about the planar ornaments because these are going to come from the brand new simulated universe that we're going to get in version 1.2 so for the two-piece set, it's going to be increased the wearer's crit rate and also when the crit rate is equal to or greater than a certain percentage, the wearer's basic attack and skill can increase. So this can be put, of course, on many of the DPSs that are in the game. Characters that are going to be benefiting from this are going to be characters like Sele, there's going to be characters like Don Hung. There's not a lot of characters, I would say, that really benefit from this a crazy amount. Ching Chui also can because most of her damage comes from her basic attack. But other than that, Oh, and she was strong as well. These characters are going to be the ones that benefit from this. I do want to take some of these away because characters like Jing Yuan is not going to benefit from that just because he does a good amount of his damage from his ultimate, from his follow-up attack. So Inner Cell Soto will end up being better. Inner Cell Soto and this set are definitely going to be comparable for many DPSs because for some DPSs, basic attacks and skills are a good amount of their damage. Same with Sela. You are going to be needing to use this to get your resurgence procs. And with her ultimate, which you get a buff in Inner Cell Soto, you are losing the follow-up attack damage that you are getting from that relic set. So that being said, this is going to be great on any DPS. Same with Inner Cell Soto. They both give crit rate. They both give damage modifiers too multiple different aspects of their kit so this is going to be a very very good planar ornament to grind out and the next one is going to be for the two piece set increase the wearer's effect res when the wearer's effect res is equal to or greater than a certain percentage all allies crit damage increases now i'm just going to go ahead and say this this is by far going to be easily applicable to every single support character in the game without a doubt just because Increasing the wear's effect rate is going to be absolutely amazing because for the most part, all the healers and all the supports and all the debuffers do have this somewhere in their trace nodes. Not all of them 100%, that's a little bit more of exaggeration, but a good majority of them do. Characters like Loocha have it, characters like Natasha have it. This is just going to be an overall amazing set for most supports just because you are going to be allowing yourself to not worry about getting sealed, getting frozen from enemies that are in the higher floors of Memory of Chaos or maybe an even simulated universe. This is going to help a great amount for those supports to not lose their availability during critical situations because sometimes your healer might get sealed, might get frozen, and your team starts taking a lot of damage and your healer can't do anything about it because their turn is going to be skipped. The two-piece set is just going to be overall a great planar ornament for sure. And not only that, you get an added benefit of being able to get more crit damage for your allies, which your DPS is going to love this by a great amount. So with that being said, this is going to be by far probably one of the best planar ornaments in the game for sure. Just because you can put this on so many different characters, especially your more important characters like your healers, your debuffers, your supports, and end up making it so they don't get stunned, they're able to do what they need to do, and you're giving the benefit to your whole team of more crit damage. So this is going to be a crazy relic set. I do think the simulated universe when it comes to the best ones you can grind out i think world 7 might be the new best one for more availability of what you can put on characters just because this can go on any support any debuffer any healer anything in that regard this is going to be their best planar ornament set for sure and then for the other one this is going to go on a majority of a lot of the dps's some of them will lose out on that ultimate damage but you're going to use the skill damage and you're also going to be able to use the basic attack damage like crazy. So there's going to be 100% availability on what you can use on your character. So this is going to be probably the brand new simulated universe you're probably going to use. For the domain, it's not looking that great. I do think that the signature set is really good on Blade and this can work on some characters, which are, of course a lot of people use. And the speed increase from the two-piece set is really great as well. But other than that, that's pretty much it when it comes to all the relics and planar ornaments. I'm really excited to be grinding for them. And I'm really excited to be able to waste all the fuel that I've been saving up to get them. So when version 1.2 drops, make sure to come by the stream. We're going to do a big summon session. We're going to do a big energy waste when it comes to these relics, when it comes to pulling blade. I am super excited. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one and peace.